Well, Jack, exactly what is this? Uh, well, that's a Hudson Bay Camp knife in a, a case that covers two thirds of the handle. Uh, that doesn't come out of there too easy. It comes when you want it, but it don't come, you know, it don't slide out, slip out, or twist and fall out. Right. Uh, it's the case itself with that heavy a welt in it will not permit that blade to go through that. So you'll never stick that thing in your leg and uh, cut an artery. Mm -hmm. They were factory made knives and the Indians traded for them, one of the fur traders. That's where they got them. Mm -hmm. So it's quite, a, it's quite a knife, but that is a Hudson Bay Camp knife and a lot of the women wanted that knife to uh, cut lodge pole, teepee poles. And uh, they also use that blade for a planer. They could tie the knife down on a flat surface with the edge sticking out and run the knife over the, the flat edge of it and plane a, a spiral off that thing of wood finer than we can get with a hand plane. Right. Uh, it un, it's unreal. They use that to do their canoe ribs with. This knife wasn't generally for just for killing. I mean, this no, wasn't. No, this no, wasn't. It, no. It was, of course, used for it later, but, you know, it was primarily used to do work with. Right. Eat, hand to mouth. You know, that's the way these people live. And that's what that knife did, was made life just a little bit easier.